Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Trials of Mana. I am the mysterious JG. I just I just copy and created shortcuts when I meant to copy and paste actual files off screen. So let me fix that real quick before we move on. Um yeah, I'm really confusing myself here. Okay, uh I've probably used the term sequence break like 800 times in the last four videos or so, and I apologize. But this is going to be it for the, quote, sequence break, because once we get Gnome, uh, we should be more or less back to uh, being caught up with the rest of the game. And, yeah, I don't even know. Like, we got, we're level 18 now. We're level 19 on the Merchant Town Visor, which is about when I would expect we would load to get all caught up. So it may not be necessary or worthwhile. Because I might even have more, um... Might even actually have more, uh... We haven't even started fighting him yet. Give him a break. But we haven't even gotten to, um... Stronger. See, sometimes she gets R's out and sometimes she doesn't. But uh, we're going to have to uh, load regardless because I have just too much leveling done that I don't want to lose. But we might actually have uh, found little cactuses, little cacti, that we won't have if we were to load that uh, level 19 uh, slot. Yeah, the camera can be a little tricky when you're evading around a lot. Oh, goblins. Oh, goblins. There we go. We finally broke his armor. That's what I've been trying to do. Whoa. Now, even though we're deep in this tunnel where you probably wouldn't even notice... Uh, we have to take a break because it switched to daytime. Apparently this is the way to go here because this is where we dropped in from the ceiling. So this is where the story will advance. Oh yeah, it really does. He drops us right on top of the boss battle if I had just gone straight towards where the game told us to. Where'd this hole come from? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Hey, we've gone to Star Wars now. I like that he has a little nose. Like, apparently, we can see his skin. It's not just shadow. Because his skin, his nose is, is uh, visually present and completely jet black. So I always assumed we just couldn't see their faces under the shadow cast by the helmets. Apparently, they just have pitch black skin. I don't know. Oh, for cute! I mean, the tongue's a little disturbing, but... Well... Oh, there's different places to target. Hold R1 and press either one of these to set that as a shortcut. I s yeah, I'm trying to set it with R1 right now. <laughs> See, this is handy because now I can just do this. I don't know how useful Holy Bolt is being against him. Not very. Well, that's its ma that's all of our magic used up, and this thing didn't really give a crap about Holy Bolt. Took that one full on. She just got completely rocked by that shot. Not 
So this is being significantly harder than the uh, first boss fight was. Which, fair enough, it should be, right? Oh, this is where we're supposed to be doing the damage here. gets the kill. Maybe not. Sliced it right through the ass. I guess Dur it makes sense Duran would be the one to kill this, because magic wasn't working. So our, you know, swordplay warrior man, Duran, comes in from behind with a cross slice to the butt. And we all almost level up, but none of us actually level up. Legendary subterranean monster jewel eater. Well, I'll be. Guess I should have given you that dynamite for free, huh? You know, as Stone Split Gap, we call Gem Valley. It's kind of like uh, Manassas versus. Uh... Once every one thousand. Oh damn! What is it? It's, it's Manassas is the southern missing. name. The northern name is. Uh... Hmm. Oh, first I'm totally missing, drawing a blank here. And now jewel eater appears. <laughs> What in tarnation is going on? <laughs> well, my ears done started burning. Yeehaw! No! <laughs> You're all right. Well, of course I'm all right. See? There I was, just taking a nap, minding my own business. When Jewel Leader done come out of nowhere and dug a burrow straight to my bed. He done fought me right at Manassas, even though them Yankees call it Bull Run. <laughs> Figured that out. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to be able to, to do commentary until I thought of that. Well, who dog is a fairy? Look, there's a whole bunch of us fairies, and I don't understand if you know me or not. <laughs> With the power of the elementals, we can open the portal. See, to we the missed we of we missed him bouncing around like a goof and going "Woo, dog is dead through" when we were explaining to the king of uh, Forcina or Valforcina, whatever. Quest from an upstanding lady like yourself. <laughs> Leave it to me, miss. And my spastic dancing. Obtain powers from Earth Elemental Gnome. Hopefully they'll be more effective than Holy Bolt was in that last fight, because that kind of sucked. Earth Elemental Magic. Now you can access Gnome's powers. Now that you can access Gnome's powers, you can use Earth Elemental Magic by putting training points towards abilities in the training section of option. Here are a few examples of Earth Magic. Stone Saber. Boost allies weapon with Earth Elemental damage. Protection. Boost allies defense. And nobody in our party uses that class of magic. And Diamond Missile deals Earth Magic damage. Uh, even the Sabres are not quite as interesting in this game as they are in uh, Secret of Mana. In Secret of Mana, the Sabres all had different weird status effects they inflicted. Like the uh, Lightning Elemental, Wind Elemental, whatever it is. I think it was called Thunder Saber. That inflicted Balloon status on enemies. The Flame Saber would inflict Engulfed. The... Ice Saber inflicted Frosty. They were all kind of weird. And mostly variations on the enemy can't move for a minute. But uh, in this game, it's purely like, oh, if an enemy takes extra damage from an element, uh, they will take extra damage for your Saber. And if they take no damage or absorb damage from an element, um, like there are a couple of bosses who will cast Saber Magic on you so that your physical attacks no longer hurt it. But uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything cool like, you know, Make uh, make giant balloons stick out of the enemy's heads. So um, 
me waiting. Come on. I guess we can control Duran for a while. This is reward for being the true hero of that battle. Well, <laughs> I'll be. You guys are friends with the great and powerful No. We also know Oz. Here, uh, I'll send you right back to the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel with <laughs> this magic rope. <laughs> you all take care now. Oh, uh, give my regards to no. Well, I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying there, youngster. I, I think I am anyway. Do, do Lumina know him? Like, Lumina popped up to chat. He didn't say anything to the, the Hero King. He just appeared and said, hey, yo. I think, like, all of them are kind of hanging around in Angela's head. I don't know. But, like, then again... Other characters get their elemental powers, too. I guess they're just, like, invisible and flying around with our party. I don't really get it. Go head back to the Hero King. Oh, never mind. Despite what he said, we're appearing here. I don't know what happens if we go in there. Might want to save the game first. Like, if we... King. Yeah, I'm really not sure what would happen if we were to hop Good in there. Idea. The Hero King might have suggestions on where to look next. Because we have no way to get back out. He got us out with a magic rope. Okay, I don't want to break... I don't want to... <laughs> I guess I should be fighting with Duran just to hear his dialogue more. Oh, the Angel is actually using she's actually using attack magic now because the AI is controlling her. Power overwhelming. Yeah, like, she's just going to burn through all of her MPs. Interesting. Maybe I need to play as her just so she doesn't waste all of her magic. Although, actually having her use magic instead of just uh, sitting on it might be a decent thing in the end. Spell guard, strength. Actually, magic recoil is the next thing that would be useful. No, rather, reclaim. Reclaim would be useful. Because it's another one where she could actually get more magic points. Strength or luck? Which one's giving her more stuff that I care about? Neither one, really, but... There's something up... I guess if we get up there, there's one to enter that's not... Whatever. Either one of these is progress. I'm on the job. Let's listen to her dialogue for a while. So, I just want to get to a place where we can save. Because now I'm curious, what happens if I ignore going back to the Hero King at this point? Because I believe the game set me up to get back to him, and I don't know how I would go about fixing that if I un if I didn't follow them right now. We got an item seed, but yeah, it's somewhere when you got all these different ones to 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 deal with. One of these ones that... I know what to 
Watch it, blast it, etc. Don't keep me waiting. I just keep trying to figure out how to get to that one little zone over there. Hey, this is actually it. We actually made it. And you get a twisted rod. That's okay. I was saying you never get items out of those treasure chests, but um So that's yeah, we have to figure out if I want to come all the way back here for this uh, later. Is the Twisted Rod a better rod than I can get from just regular old item shops? I have a feeling it'll be really good for this point in the game. But like two or three items shop on, it'll just be available as a regular old thing. So it's probably not worth getting super excited about. And I'm thinking if we go back down, if we go back into the Dwarf Cave, fight our way back to the beginning, and get back to Free City Maya area in the Golden Road, probably Von Boyage just gives us another ride in the cannon uh, for free. But I'm not sure, and I'm curious enough to try it. But I know that if we come up here, we'll actually get a save point. And I want to save just in case I really break something badly. Because it will let us go back down into the dwarf cave. I thought their way of preventing you from screwing it up would just be to reseal that entrance, but no. So the dwarf cave reaches underground from... So this is Valsana Kingdom of the Plains, Dwarf Tunnel, Splitstone Gap, Dwarf Village, Golden Road. Okay, I guess it isn't. It's all one continent. It's not reaching under the water anywhere, but these mountains, it reaches through here. All righty. So if I just go to the end and save, we can backtrack and um, this is going to be the last video of this Welcome. session. I'm still having fun, but I need to get to bed. So, um, might as well spend it goofing off trying to sequence break the game. Oh and I promise I will eventually stop using the word sequence break in every single video. But yeah, I, I feel like uh, I didn't power level again until I got to um, the next major plot point. So probably I can just... I've got like interim saves along the way I made in case it would make things easier. But since I didn't really grind for levels at any point, we'll probably just keep playing through on this save slot until we get to the one where I did. And the fact that we're already at level 19, I did, I did like... Some lengthy grinding at the very beginning of the game while watching, you know, Mystery Science Theater. I think I listened to some... I think I might have... Uh, at one point I was like, you know, Lethal was streaming and I was listening to that while playing and listening to various LPs. Um, so we're over-leveled at this point, but we're at level 19. And after my next major bout of over-leveling, we'll be at level 38. So it's not insane. Leave it to me, Wookiees. I guess it kind of is. Nine, it's almost double. Let's take it out. Actually, it's exactly double, isn't it? 19 times 2 would be 38. Leave it to me, Wookiees. Yeah, so it's exactly double of our current level uh, the next time I did a ton of grinding. But that'll be it then. I mean, 38... That's where you have to be to get your second class change. I don't remember how high your level could get in the first game before you stopped being allowed to increase your stats. Other than whatever you got automatically without being asked to make a, a decision. But, um... 
38's probably a little low to win the main game on, but I get the impression it wouldn't be impossible to win the main game at level 38. But this game has a bunch of post-game stuff you can do, which I would imagine you can't really do until you get well above level 38. This, uh, I guess this wasn't the right way to go. And I suppose I should, um... Yeah, I should get, um... I'm on the job. Unfortunately, you can't, um... I don't... Okay, I was forgetting what button got me out of there. I can't have uh, Angela and... Uh, I can't have Angela uses offensive magic and Charlotte uses healing in the same shortcuts. The shortcuts are character-specific. But she can now, like, start casting spells with just one button click, although... Actually, Earth is the worst thing to be using against the enemies in this Earth zone because they're Earth resistant, which makes sense. I'm so friggin' awesome. Okay, so again, no real, nothing to gain from this. I'm just goofing around trying to do things out of order for the hell of it. Oh, we never fought any slimes. They used magic on me, so I used magic on them. It's only fair. And there's definitely loots that I didn't discover. There's a little vaguely hidden area there with that, like, you know, breakable rock. I'm sure there's a treasure chest there that I didn't bother to get, and I should have, and I feel bad now, but this is the exit. But I guess while I'm here, I'll confirm... Oh, the true queen. Angela's mom and a real bee. But I guess while I'm here, possibly got it on with the hero king. You would think the true queen and the hero king. It would make sense that they were, you know, paired up at some point. And again, it's not a PS4 game. It's it's like... I think it's part of the, the mana collection on the Switch. Because it was a one of those games that might never have been released in America before it started coming out on collections. But, um... There was a game that was made in Japan after Trials of Mana, the original Trials of Mana in uh, Japan, that was a prequel, which actually showed, um, I think you actually played as some of the characters who appear in this. So I always thought it was neat here that there was a little sense that this world existed before your characters were around and that it has its own backstory and that it had its own heroes and blah de blah de blah Like, I, I found that kind of neat. But apparently... Um, that wasn't enough for them to just leave that be. They had to have you play those adventures yourself, which I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm just like, I like the idea that the, uh, you know, there was a hero, the hero king was somebody who was a hero in the past. I, I'm way off script, just blathering on now. But yeah, I like, I like that notion. And apparently Flame Con is in this game and there's a mage character who will not be a big part of our story because we didn't choose the correct uh, heroes. But there's a guy in this who will be kind of a corrupted, fallen figure who used to be a hero, who you play as as a hero in this prequel game. But in this game, he's presented, when you're first introduced to him, as this, like, fallen character who's a bad guy. All right. Clear your way. And he's, like, one of the main baddies if you play with Kevin or uh, Charlotte. So he's actually the only main baddie that, you know, if your knowledge of this series comes entirely from watching my games, he's the only one that you would have no knowledge of whatsoever at this point. Yeah, so that didn't change. Get out of my way before I break you. 
France is a violent, angry guy. Retreat. Run away from the enemies that aren't worth fighting! Just got right in his freaking face there, and the guy didn't see me until I'd been stepping in his face for several seconds. We actually missed a treasure box in this zone somewhere. To run away with more efficiency. Bye. Dan wait, what? Danger of night, use archway. Oh, they're talking about the zombies. Zombies. They only show up at night, but they show up along this path. So they're actually, this path is more dangerous during the uh, night. During the day, it's a bit of a yawn. Oh, this is probably where the treasure chest is, I missed. Nope. Never mind. I wonder if I missed that treasure chest in my other save. Probably not, because I was wandering all over the place. You're fighting enemies a lot. But if it's really well hidden... Seems like a lot of work to go to to avoid, um... Either a lot of work to go to to avoid that one battle, or... There's something waiting here to be found. Yeah, I got myself all turned around now, uh, with that little path. Because I went around in a complete circle trying to find some reason that you would go this way. Looks like it's just about avoiding that one fight. Yeah, whatever. Oh. That we already found. Fine then, here I go, away from you guys without fighting. So now we come here, we're like, uh, Bon Voyage, would you mind sending us in the cannon again? We kind of screwed up. And then, of course, I have to wonder if he sends you in the cannon again, does he, does he aim incorrectly? Because as I recall, sometimes in Secret of Mana, They'll make you fight through a dungeon because the guy who aimed the cannon uh, missed, but then when you subsequently use the cannon, it does fast-track you to the town that you were trying to get to in the first place. A course correction of some kind may occur. Well, the game doesn't know what the hell to tell us now. It's not giving us a gold uh, icon at all. Because we're not supposed to be here. So it's not even saying, go back this way to the dwarf cave. Because I think the game realizes, wait, that dumbass, now he can't even get back to Valsana from the dwarf cave because of what he did. Well, Bon Voyage doesn't seem to be here. His cannon is still set up. And this is why I saved. It was just possible. It says Deluxe Super Cannon. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't think we get to shoot ourselves off in this thing. I think we need him. And uh, he's disappeared, because you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to come back here without visiting the Hero King. They, they carefully set up that thing so that... Oh, and you use the magic... Oh, you know what? I bet you... If we run back there now... How, I thought I already got this treasure chest. Did the treasure chest restock periodically? Well, it says we got all of them now. But yeah, the game is not telling me where to go, because I wasn't supposed to get myself in this situation. But if I go to, um... I will just ignore all the combat, but if we go all the way back to the Dwarf Cave now, 
I'm thinking that if we were to use a magic rope, we can still get out. Unless it always takes you back to the entrance you used to get in, in which case we may have rendered the game, and then this is why I saved, there was a small chance this would happen, by going back into this dungeon without talking to the Hero King, we may have rendered the game unwinnable. Because normally you're supposed to uh, not buy that gel ignite, whatever it's called. And uh, you get Gnome first and then you go to Valsena. Or you do the thing where the, the king shows you a secret path to get to the dwarf cave. Which wasn't available till after he told us about it. And um, and then the game politely kicks you back out before you can get yourself stuck. Uh, uh, retreat! Run away from the weak enemies we can easily defeat. Woo. So yeah, this video will go a little long because I just want to check this out. I know what to do. And uh, what we should have done is rescued Gnome before we went to Valsena. So I, I guess I knew what to do and didn't do it. Do I know what to do now? That's less clear. So maybe now that we're here, it'll give us a little golden thingy to tell us where to go. Maybe. Hmm? Nope. Games like you shouldn't have done this. I don't know how how hard you expect us to work to make this game uh, unlosable. I do not want to save now. This is the dwarf zone, right? I think so. And now, if we go back into that dungeon, because there wasn't, it's not like the those uh, little holes in the mole bear caverns. You could always just get to a certain spot and jump and leave, but it didn't seem like it worked that way before. Head back to the Hero King. Yeah, I think we actually found a way to make it unwinnable. Like, by just willfully not doing what the game wanted, we finally got into a situation where we broke it. But only if, when we get in here, using a magic rope kicks us back out to the entrance we came in by. If they're smart enough to have set it up so that it always kicks you back out to the plains. Or at least until you talk to the, the Hero King. Which will actually... Yeah, it's not marked as a thing we can interact with. Bon Voyage has disappeared from the story because you broke it. <laughs> he loves cannon travel technology, often renaming his machines on a whim. He supports you through your journey if you don't break the game by being an idiot. And we've broken the game by being an idiot. This is it. We've rendered the game unwinnable at this point. The only thing that's left to try is to fight our way back to that point and see if, despite them not marking it, when you jump up, you get out. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case, and I'm pretty sure that by just constantly f trying not to follow the game, we finally got to a point where you can't... The game's like, we tried really hard to make this so that you couldn't not win, but you finally just, uh, you stuck with it, kid, and you found a way to screw this up. Curious cookie. So those are interesting items. Um, I haven't used them too much, but... What they actually do is give you bonus experience for a certain set of time. We can take this enemy in no time. Uh, uh, retreat. Careful! It's the enemy! The enemy has struck Run. here on Kilrab. 
Okay, so... My efforts to speed run this are not actually being successful because I'm not taking the time to figure out the correct pathing because I'm trying to go through it quickly. But now we're getting close. Help each other, run away! I've got this escape route planned. This is the way. That's right, I've joined the uh, Mandalorian clan or... This is the uh, the funky room that we end up in, and uh, unlike the other zones where you drop in from above, you can't jump back up here. So we have rendered the game uh, unwinnable. When we come back next time, just in case, I don't want to get myself all confused here. But we come back next time, and this slot I should have gnome. And then I'll know. Okay, well, on this slot, we're gonna talk. To, we're gonna talk to the king, and uh, we will essentially be caught up as, have, as far as having all the stuff we're supposed to have, uh, because it's when you talk to the king, and that's why we couldn't find Bon Voyage or Von Voyage. Yeah, Von Voyage. The reason we couldn't find him back in the free city of Maya, I think it's called, is because he's supposed to be here. We're gonna find him here. Offering to um, get us back to where we need to be in the story. But only after we talk to the Hero King will he actually appear. He might be here setting up the cannon and tell us to come back later or something like that. Um, but yeah, we actually found a way to get the game completely unwinnable and broken. And if you were to save on all of your save slots at that point, you would be screwed. Um, but the fact that I kind of suspected that was a possibility is why I made sure to save before we went down. And now I'm just talking in circles, filling time, because I'm waiting to get to the end of, uh, just waiting to get to the screen to make sure that we, um, because I'm curious about whether Von Boyage is here. But it kind of doesn't matter, because I need to call it a video anyway, so why am I still doing this? I believe he sets up here in the courtyard, or maybe it's the next screen, which I guess is still the courtyard. Yeah, this would be the courtyard, really. I think he sets up right in here, but he's not going to set up till after we talk to the king. So I'm going to call it a video, and when we come back next time, we will actually advance the story and talk to the king. And the, quote, sequence breaking, end quote, and I'll stop saying it now, that'll be over because uh, we have hit the point where you w it won't let you go any further without Gnome. Now when we talk to the king, he will tell us, and we won't do some of that dialogue. I don't think we'll get to see Gnome saying, like, how you do, and all that fun stuff. But he will now tell us to do the thing that he would have told us to do the first time we met him, if the first time we met him had been in the normal game sequence where we already had known. So on the Mysterious GG, thank you guys so much for watching. When we come back next time, we will definitely be continuing the story. See you then.